Hello, hello, dudes and dudettes, and how are you on this fantastic day? I am recording some Cities Skyline. It's actually been quite some time since I actually recorded. I've taken a little bit of a break. Even though content's still coming, it's actually content that I've pre-recorded. And I've been playing a little bit of City Skyline. So there's a story behind City Skyline where I used to play. I So if you're looking right at the bottom, I'm already 96,000 in the hole. And I only got 1,100 people in my city. I don't normally play a game. If you know anything about my channel, I don't normally play the game to play the game. I just want to build. So this is... 100% custom. Um, I've been working at this for weeks and weeks. And I'm so this video is only to demonstrate the, the network infrastructure that I have going on at the moment. And hopefully, you guys can give me some more ideas because uh, I sometimes hit a roadblock. And, and so, the problem with a city skyline that I had prior. To this world, this this the city, this this magical place, is that I ran into a roadblock, and road is the key word here. Um, I've exceeded the limits to how many roads I was allowed to have in City Skyline. It's not even a joke. I exceeded the limit. Um, I was mad because <laughs> I worked like a good month on the city that I had exceeding the limit. So this one here, I went smaller. So how I normally would do it is I would level the entire area. These these mountains here, I would not have these mountains here. I would level completely and just have one flat area. Obviously have some lakes because I need the water. But I, I never cared for these mountains, even though they do make a lot of texture and they make a city. I never really cared for him back then. So I've decided to keep them this time. So I did these rows just as a temporary, just to show me the surrounding area of the mountain. And then I'm probably gonna end up with this one going through the mountain on this side and popping back out on this side, something like that. So I do have the trees mod. I got lots of mods actually. Um, Road, road, no, roadwise, roadwise, Steam. They're not mods. They're Steam Workshop stuff. Um, everything is available on the Steam Workshop. Uh, the tram lines. I do have this. So let's just get into it. So this is simply a video to show my infrastructure. So I have the roads set up. Uh, the highways are done. The main roads are done. Not the side roads. Not the residential roads. Um, I spent a good five, six hours building my airport. And the subway system is what I started yesterday or the day before. I do have the 81 tile mod. Actually, I could have went one more here, couldn't I? I could have went one more here and I could have went one more there. I didn't want to go to the end, but I couldn't see that from here. So I'm probably going to end up doing that. Maybe, maybe not. So anyway. Let's get into this and hopefully you guys can uh, give me some ideas down below. Let me know what you think as well as giving me some ideas. So I reworked the entire uh, water, all the the, the, the the depths of the lakes and then the rivers and everything. I, I went all the way down as low as you could um, because I wanted more water flow in my city. Uh, side roads, a little bit of side roads as I mentioned. This is the major road. This is like freaking... 14, 14 roads across? Well, hold on, lanes. So two, four, six. We're looking at 12 lanes across plus two tram lines. So you're looking at 14 plus, you got two bike paths on the end. That's a lot of freaking lanes. Uh, available through the Steam Workshop, it's this one here. It's 64 meters wide. You got the 12 lane road with tram, bus, and a bike. Um, it's everything. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. So I got this one going from one end. So it comes over here and it goes all the way around here. Here it splits into two. It goes all the way up here, which is going underground, pops back out under this highway, and then that's going to end there. And then that's going to be side streets here. Then it goes down here, all the way around here, 
connects to a normal bus line, bus route, um, which is normal three and three, so a six lane. But then it goes here, it comes under this highway here. Um, yeah. And then it goes connecting onto that one. It goes under the railroad. Uh, the railroad was already existing in the map when I started. Uh, this is a tram and this is the bus. Yeah, the Eglinton Garage, again, in a workshop. It's it's based off in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, I'm Canadian, Ontario, Canada. So I got a lot of Ontario, Toronto mods, I should say. So now it goes inside the mountain here. We can have the underground view. Boom, as it goes under the mountain. Cancel that. It comes back out here, a little bit of a bridge. And then it rests here. This is the end of it. This is the tram. And this is the bus. Again, I did do a little bit of roads here. We're going to have a bus line. I always confuse myself with these buttons. We're going to have a bus route going all the way around. Now, the bus has not been set up yet. I didn't do any bus lines here anyway, just yet. I did start down there. We're going to get there. Um, so the problem with this, not really a problem. So I do have the move it. Um, mod as well so you can move whatever you want however you want so these were when you do this and you go in a tunnel it goes it does not go down there it goes all the way at the top and it's like six six meters or something under so your road winds up going all the way up there rather than flat down here so you have to physically select every segment no nope, every segment then go back over here and then make sure that you're going pretty level listen this is not a joke boys and girls this is this is definitely not a joke i did that with every road in this map every road the highways these highways no these highways these highways were not like this these highways look i'm gonna move it these highways were like this like they were that far apart. Like it, it wasn't a joke. I spent weeks building this infrastructure. I spent weeks realigning everything just to make sure, even these, I'm OCD. I mean, I'm obviously not diagnosed, but I like everything to line up. These, see right here at the end, and see right there too, they didn't line up. So again, I gotta pick the one segment. So that one's an underground one. So you gotta go with the underground view and then you gotta pick that one segment there. Then you gotta move it so that everything lines up. So anyway, it's crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. So highway wise, yoop. so again, I did one road there. The railroad goes all the way around. We're going all the way around this huge mountain, which will remain. Am I going to build anything up there? I have no idea. I probably won't. That's probably just gonna be trees, like I did at the airport, which we're gonna go check. Uh, I've got this one as well. It's nice and pretty. It's nice, nice, nice. So, I started with this. This is just a, uh, pretty much like an off-ramp uh, interchange. I didn't really know what to do with it, so I just put one of those huge rocks in the middle. It looks good. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this just yet. It's probably going to end up being some residential stuff. And so it ended here. So I did all the roads here in the middle. Uh, whoever created this did a fantastic job doing this. Although this circle was all beat to crap. So with the move it tool, I, uh, I actually made it a circle. I made it a lot nicer. And I continued the road here, did that. And then this road here was not here either, which is awesome how it ended up. Just over top there, it's perfect. The angle is perfect. It elevated itself into the mountain. I think that actually worked out really well. And then here is the main interchange off the highway. That's just gonna be the main downtown core area. Um, again, in the Steam Workshop, available. That one is called This one, uh, the spaghetti sauce pan. There you have it. And then the highway goes out. There's another one here that I put here, and then the highway goes out. Now this is a piece of the La Resistance that I built. I wanted the roads to be not underground, but caved into the ground, and I ended up with this. So I got two one ways. 
which are two, four, six. I got six lanes going in. I got six lanes coming out. And I got two bus going in, two bus coming out. Those are all one ways. So there's no confusing each other. They go down. Whoop. Uh, spent a good hour placing all these trees because I wanted it to look ever so nice and pretty. So this goes all the way. This is kind of like an express route to go across downtown. So these are all going to be bus routes. This is going to end up being downtown. I got the metro stations. And this is the express route connecting off the highway. So when you come off the highway, you got this little roundabout, which is a one way, uh, six lanes, one way. You can come off here. You can come on here and then back on the highway, which I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. But as you're coming off, you have the choice to either go downtown here or take the express and get all the way in this general area, which you can see goes back underground. This was pretty cool. I here, this ended up being a little bit of a dilemma and I'm, I'm really happy how it turned out actually, how the two bus lines kind of merge into that. And with one of the mods, which is this one, TM, whatever, the PE, you can control everything, so the lanes. So if I click on the lane uh, connector here and then I click on this, it lets me pick and choose where my lanes are going. So this obviously is a bus. I only want my buses to go in this lane. So that's controlled. You can't go down that way because that's a one way. I can control absolutely everything. This script, this mod, it's a must. It's definitely a must. You can control the traffic lights. You can control anything. So I'm really happy about how this turned out in here. But what I'm really happy about even more is I had the dilemma here. How am I going to make the two bus lines merge in together while having the two one ways, which is going to be in turn 12 lanes merged together as well. As you can see, underground they went. So I got my two one ways. This one here is going that way. And this one here comes this way going underground. If I can select this, they both meet together underground. But when they get here, they end up being on a two way bus lane only. So I really, I really like how this turned out. The two buses go in and they come out when they go in and they meet over here and they split one way there and one way here. I really like how this turned out. I think this turned out very well. And it it came to a solution as to how do I merge, what is this, a 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How do I merge 16 lanes at the same spot? I mean, they're all ending at the same spot. The only other way would have been to shove these guys into here and then that one into that one and then turn the rest into bus lanes and then back to bus lanes here, but it didn't. So these are not bus lanes, regular lanes, and then it gets into here, which are then bus lanes. As you can see the bus, I'm pretty sure I've already done this one, the lane connector, yeah. So I've already done the lanes on this one. I didn't want the buses going down this way because that's not a bus lane, that's the express for the cars. So I made sure that the buses are only allowed to go down this way. So buses, cabs, they're not going to go down the, the collectors or the express route. And then that's gonna be the downtown core. Yeah. All around here actually is all going to be the downtown core with some residential and this and that. Now, we're going back underground right here. And again, I had to do the same thing with this guy. I had to make sure that they were all level. They even seem a little bit high right now. Yeah, you see, they're not level, level, level. I probably did it from this side. You still don't look that bad from here. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end. It's gonna bug me though. Which one's higher? Which one's higher? Why can I not select you? Am I selecting? Yeah. Move it. There you go. So which one are you? Up. Oh. Yeah, you're you're that one. Let's just do it like that. Uh you know what? I'll take care of that later. I'll take care of that later. So this guy here, like I said, goes underground here and then it pops out yoink, over here. Another mountain. 
Uh, another piece de resistance because I really like it because it goes under the water here. It's pretty awesome. And then it meets up here, which this in turn connects to the highway here. This is another highway off ramp that specifically goes to this area in and out, which goes into a, another bus line road that goes into two bus stops. Uh, these are again, um, bus Metro hub deluxe. They are in the workshop. They're, they're awesome because they connect buses and subway lines together. Awesome. Love it. This is my university and I started zoning it. And once in a while I got to click play just to get some stuff working. Uh, and obviously people have started. So that's why I got 1100 people in my town. I didn't want them. I'm not ready for them. They're here. This is my university district. This is all residential housing. Um, I've created three cul-de-sacs and uh, it's all zoned residential here. And then I got some commercial and then some dense residential all the way around the university area. And I, I'm, I'm thinking that this is gonna be, so all of these are modded at Futuristic Town University. Their, their scripts are modded. Uh, Metropolitan University wing B, wing A is right here. Um, Science Hall actually came with the game. Modern Technology Institute came with the game. Uh, research, I mean, this is built. Um, I, if you guys are interested, I can go through all the, the, uh, the scripts or the, the things that I'm subscribed to later on. Um, but for now, there you go. That's, that's going to be the university. There's some schools as well. High school here. There's a couple of elementary schools. One right there. Yeah, elementary school right there. There's more trees to be added as well. I like trees. I like foliage. I do have a security shack here, a security checkpoint with the police cars. So it is a security area. That's awesome. And then, um, so I did start adding trees all the way along the rail line because this is going to be my industrial area. I don't want, I like hiding stuff and eventually my highways are going to be all surrounded by trees as well. So I like hiding stuff and I like, for example, having residential on this side. And as you can see, it's fertile land. And on this side, having the industrial district and having the trains go by, but nobody knows. I mean, obviously you're going to hear a little bit of it but still nobody knows and it's super nice it's clean the train comes here the only time you see the train is actually here i can't really do anything about that one there is a road going here which you can see is perfect 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 this was actually a little bit of a dilemma. ah this was actually a little bit of a dilemma as well because i was coming off the highway here originally i did not have this here this was just connected onto that guy but then i needed a there's not enough off ramp from the highway. So I created this one here to pop out here to have my one ways come in here, which are integrated connected here because this is my rail system. And as you can see, it's a very intricate rail system. It's not a joke. <laughs> I restarted this one so many times because it just did not feel right. And it has to feel right. If I'm going to play the game, it has to feel right. So. Uh, I have a Y, I mean a T uh, connection, uh, rails coming in, rails coming out, coming down to one, splitting into eight lines. You think that eight lines is a lot, which kind of is. So one, two, three, and four here are going up here. Actually one, two, and three, and four. Yeah, exactly. So this is a cargo train terminal. One, two, three. Four is a distribution center rail. This is another script through the Steam Workshop. I've got two more of these. I got one more here and I got one more here. Now I got the cargo hubs as well. I got three of these bad boys, which are all interconnected over here. But I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that one. So I ended up with another T on this one, having two lines interconnected with each other in order to connect to these lines as well. This is a very intricate rail system and I'm very happy about how this turned out. I really, really, really hope that it's gonna go out very well. I haven't tried any of the rail systems since I've created it. I haven't pressed play again. I really don't see why this would not work. 
thing is so well thought off because I've restarted this so many times and everything connects. So even when you connect the road, you can't just drag the road across the railroad. You can't just drag the railroad across the road because it's not going to do these railroad crossings. It won't trust me. You got to stop the road in the middle of the railroad, do your connection and then restart on the other end. And then it will do the railroad crossing. And then these freaking guys end up in the middle of the road. I mean, so that's where the move it thing comes into play. You got to grab this guy. You got to move it. Nope, that's the wrong one. Got to grab the rail one right there. Nope, that's the wrong one. Anyway, you get, you get the point. <laughs> that is my rail system. I think it worked out good. I think it worked out good. Um, so here I got a couple of cruise uh, lines, cruise things, and these were a pain to put on. I had to individually put those. I mean, they're in packs. It's not one by one. It's a pack of them, but still I had to individually put those and then lift them so that they were lined up to the edge of the road. Kind of a little bit of a pr protection against some big waves, harbors, cruise ships. There's two of them uh, on the cruise line. And I created an island here. So as you can see, now there's water over top of it because I haven't pressed play again. So originally I had the island coming out to here and I, I wound up coming to look, it wasn't here. I wound up coming to look and there was a boat, a cargo ship that was beached on my island. And I'm like, what the fudge is this? So anyway, I ended up looking at this and I tried and I tried and I tried to remove this line and I couldn't remove the line. So I ended up having to redo the island to add more land on this side. And that's why the water's just adjusting. It's, it's just, it's nuts. It's just gonna adjust itself. That's fine. Don't worry about it, that's fine. Um, let's go, I'm gonna go through the rail system before, I mean the subway system and the bus system before I go through the final piece de resistance, the airport. And I'm really, really proud of my airport. I really like it. And I really hope it works out too. So, uh, here's my metro system. Here's my, my subway system. Um, so I do have, like I said, I do have some lines. These are the bus lines that I have going on at the moment. Uh, this is the bus metro hub deluxe. So they go in there, they come out. There's four lines in, one line out. So I got two going in. Uh, Plain Jane simple. If you've never done it, uh, these little dots are your stops. Um, as you can see, there's no stops on this road. You can't put a bus stop. There is one there. And you can see that the road kind of adjusted for a bus to stop as well. That is automatically done when you do a stop. So whenever you do a new line, the bus stops automatically get put in there. So I only put two for now. I, I never really knew I never really understand either how to or where to go with my buses. But I mean, that's gonna be weeks and weeks and weeks of, of figuring that part out as well. So as for the Metro lines, pretty plain drain and simple as well. I've got one, uh, let's go on this. I've got one connecting on the main hub into this line here. Now this line here goes all the way under the mountain, which is not even in an own land. But again, I had to um, lower them all as best as I could. And then it pops back out here on this end, which is my property. So at this point, somewhere we're gonna have a metro line. And then this line here connects here down to this one, goes over here underground, follows this road, and then connects onto this bus stop here. And then it goes over here, will connect onto here, and then I will have this one going back to the airport or over here somewhere. I don't know yet. I'm not there just yet. And then line number two is this one. So let's start from here. This is empty. It's going to be built. It starts here and goes around here, connects onto this bus stop, goes and loops over here, connects on all of these uh, subway metro lines goes back to the university on a separate side of the road slash line connects to a different um, line because this one here one of them here has two lines I think it's this one I guess and then this one will loop back on this side here 
And then I do have one, just for fun, for now, going to this island from an empty lot here. There's nothing yet. I don't have anything yet. I do want something here. And then, uh, okay, so we know about that one and we know about this one. And then the trams, all the trams all the way around, nothing there. So that, ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes is my network. Oh, and I have this one going under the mountain as well. Let me know down in the comment section, what do you think about all these roads? Is it going to work? Is Does it look good? I've got a lot of work to do. And I'm, I try to be such a perfectionist that I, I build something. And, and if it does not feel well for me, I don't keep it. Now, the fact that I thought that I had bought all the trams, I may still end up with not buying these at all. I mean, I think this is going to be big enough of a city. Later on, I may end up buying them. I don't know. I, I never liked this blue line because in another city I built were the blue, and I couldn't see my buildings because they were covered with better blue line. So this is the 81 tile uh, mod script, whatever it may be. All right, let's, let's get over here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my airport. This took me a very long time to build. This is the piece de resistance. This is, I really hope it works extremely well. I've spent hours and hours and hours building this stuff. So as you're coming in, um, so highway comes straight into here. You do have an off ramp here and you do have an off ramp here to go to the airport. It's a, it is a perfect angle. I've moved every segment of that road. I've made sure that this road was on the perfect angle and that it followed this one perfect segment. This is there just temporarily, advanced police helicopter, uh, because I was building these new roads and I decided to build something similar here. I put a rock there as well and I put a prop of an airplane. As you're coming off this main road, boom, you got this huge airplane. Now it says jet plane and visitors last week. I don't know if it's actually gonna try to take off. It's a prop. I don't think it will. <laughs> it's operating normally, that's good. I do have a taxi depot here. Uh, I had to build it in order to put the bus lines or something like that. It's not gonna stay there. This is the Metro Hub Deluxe, which you can see I do have one line here interconnecting with the airport back to this line here, just for now. So this is the airport that you get. You get the one lane here and you get the one runway here. I've added three more runways on this one along with the taxiways. I've added props. I've added a JFK International Airport um, tower. This is a secondary or another uh, just airstrip. This is for my private jets, large terminal with runway. Uh, and these are all private jet parking. Uh, they're not developed yet because I haven't clicked play just yet. This is my military cargo airport. Again, came with one terminal, one runway. I mean, I've added two more and these are all military aircraft hangars. I do have the, um, the Saturn V and the one that comes with the game, the space launch, space, space shuttle launch site. This is helipads. Passenger Heliport Station 2. I've got a bunch of these. Uh, this is my Fusion Power Plant. I've got one of those. This is a script that is amazing. Advanced Garbage garbage Conversion. Garbage Reserves. 999,000. 80 trucks in use. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I built two of those at the airport. Just because, stop complaining already. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my cargo hub which they actually built, that's awesome. I guess I did click play. Cargo airplane, again, it comes with one runway. I've added four more along. I built all the taxiways. Uh, this is Air Canada hangar. This is pretty much the only hangar I could find. I'm Canadian, so it kind of worked. So I've just added five of these, just to make it look legitimate. Uh, these are all water refiners, water treatment tanks, uh, water treatment pumps, and water treatment plants. Uh, security checkpoint here. Um, this is police helicopters. Oblivion Police and Depot, which I still have to select my police helicopters. And this is fire helicopters, which I still have to select my fire helicopters as well. And then this is DHL. DHL, a landing bay light. And then I got, look at that. They built, that's so cool. 
I got DHL cargo centers. I got three of those. They're not complete, as you can see. And I got three FedEx ones too. Where's the, uh, where's the say FedEx? I mean, it could be a little bit better than that, but it says FedEx, boys and girls. That's awesome. I like that. I really like that. So I got three FedEx. I got three. So I got three DHL uh, cargo centers here with their landing pads here. And then on the other side, three FedEx with three FedEx landing pads. That's pretty cool. And then my blimp depot is here at the moment. What do you think, boys and girls? Let me know in the comment section. Give me ideas. What do you think works? What do you think works for you? What would work for me? What ideas do you have? I've added all these trees back after I've removed them, which I am going to do on every mountain. That's for sure. I tried building the dam here. I could never get the dam, dam to work, play on words. Even though there was water flow here. Uh, no, not disasters, water. There was water flow here, which there still is. The water comes from the top here. I tried building the dam right here and it just would not operate. I did not try building it here, but it just would not operate like ever. So I've, I've given up on the dam and I went with the fusion and I know it's an expensive one. It's $8,000 a week, but it does 16,000 megawatts, which is awesome. That is going to be it for this city's skyline video, boys and girls. Let me know what you think. I've spent weeks building this infrastructure and sometimes I get to a brick wall and I just don't know where to continue off. Besides just making spiders with roads and, and zoning and Obviously, I, I have a square grid here, but as you can see with all the rest of my lines, I don't want a square grid. The pattern at this airport is huge. It's awesome though, but it's huge. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like down below if you did. Hit the sub button, smash, smash, and join that Discord server. I will see you in the next video.